guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 9 of Magic Over Quarters. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, what the fuck happened in today's episode? That's the biggest thing I want to know. I'm wondering, because, like, I mean, I'm on, like, game-wise, I'm on, like, chapter 4. Uh, I'm almost on chapter, uh, chapter 4. I know, but I'm getting close to it. Oh, yeah, we're going back to that. Okay. <gasps> there she is! So you're the invisible girl, aren't you? I bet you everybody's just fans of her are like so fucking happy she's finally showing up. I mean, damn. The memes that I've seen of this girl, like, <laughs> whether um, it's posted on the Funimation, uh, no, not on Funimation, when Funimation like posted something about this anime, there are nothing but memes about her. Or even if um, the Magical Rokode, uh, uh game Twitter page posted something there is nothing but memes on her and just like i kept looking at it one day i was like what the fuck does this mean and i was and now it kind of makes sense because now knowing that she is the invisible girl and stuff but i mean because i kept wondering when the fuck she was gonna show up I, I kept thinking like damn she she's in the opening but i was like what if they don't they're gonna probably wait until like the last you got the session show her because so she might be like in what chapter? If I'm on chapter four and I'm, I think I've already met Felicia. She went what? Like chapter five, chapter six, maybe? So these all have to be her writing thing real fast. Well, that's a pretty much her damn. I mean, whether they do shit in this series or even Monogatari, like, just their art style and the scenery is just gorgeous. It's pretty. Why do you want to be deleted, though? Excuse me? I mean, you just straightened up trying to kill her. I mean, Jesus. Is it you? No, it's for Dabba. But, okay, hold on. But still, they're gonna, if for someone to come back out, they still gotta, someone still has to jump. So then, no, you can't even wait. No, mm -mm. this is a, mm -mm. Mm -mm. let's not do this, please. Because if all four of y'all go, I don't think all four of y'all are gonna be able to come back in. 
Because this shit is like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Exactly. I don't know. I got a really bad feeling about this. Are we really going to do this? Like, bruh? But you're, oh my god. Exactly. Listen to your girlfriend. That too. What shit, baby? Q bag on like fuck it. Very deep. Because you've always been alone. <laughs> so it seems at first we talk about light being there. But now it's just I feel like I'm on drugs watching this. Especially because of the fact that they're they're in a solitude where jellyfish <laughs> it's like you are on some good behind drugs. Yeah. 
Right? I get that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you seem very shy. Oh, oh. Oh, you really just wanted was a friend. Yeah, but I don't think I want that for you. I mean, but you would think that one, well, no, because she is an invisible girl, that maybe even her family doesn't even remember her. Yeah. Oh, damn, Futaba. What happened to you? Who treats their child like that? Excuse me. I say Jojo. You just did it one night. What's happening? Oh, because Aroha came in. Yeah.
So I'm just gonna say B basically. Because she's also a magical girl. Yeah, she ain't with that cult. You shouldn't be here. If you go with a robot, she'll show you a family, like her family. She's right. That too. Because let's just say one day she loses her memories and she doesn't remember you, Kadaba. You'll be alone again. I wasn't expecting her in this episode, oh my god. Oh, they did change it in this. I kind of figured they would. Because if they changed it in the game, they would change it in this. Oh, uh -huh. mm. Behind you? Yeah. Mm. You need to go. Well, yes, that's you, but she needs to go. You can't stay here. If Alina gets full control over her, I mean, imagine what the hell she could do. I'm just saying, that's a nice girl, but shit. She was literally her first role.
Well, shit. All right. Like I said, was I expecting my girl to be in this fucking episode? I was expecting her to come. This is episode nine. Eleven. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and say this. And I've been thinking this ever since kind of last week. Okay. Do not tell me I'm right on this. Kind of wait until we find out. But you can basically, if you do say anything about it, kind of, you know go until it has the re I mean uh the show more things so that whenever I can to look into spoilers about it because I'm not like I said I'm not 100% up to date in this game because I'm playing so many fucking games and I'm busy with so many things is Alina the leader of this cult because I mean it has to be I do love the fact that they did change her stuff that's originally in the JP version of the game and I don't think it's in the EM version but it was the, I think it was something about like STDs or something. I don't really remember because it's a lot. This was like a long time ago. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know that shit. Um, but seeing her, that was like a surprise. I wasn't expecting her to be in this episode. So, I'm about to say her name. Wrong. Who talks about I'm just going to call her that. She's cute. A little adorable little thing. She hasn't come home in my game yet. Same thing with my best girl. One of my other best girls are right now. But, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to go down like this. I mean, honestly, really, AI was her first real friend. Well, who else can you have? I mean... I think you technically really have everybody from the main cast from the game, I believe. I don't think there's anybody else I'm missing. No. You know what I think? Okay, hold on. And, and I'm kind of hoping that they do this. I don't think they will, though. Yeah, they have everybody in their group now. Um, it's the thing on Yui. The, the, um, what I like to call her doppelganger in the game. The, the creepy version of Yui. I'm wondering if they're going to have that be shown in the anime. I mean, I, I don't know when necessarily she pops up into the game and stuff. I know in the gotcha, she came like months ago, sometime like sometime last year she came. And I remember the first time seeing it, I think one day when I looked at like all the magical girls transformations in the game and it interests me, but then it also creeped me out in like a weird way, even though I'm someone who loves creepy shit. Uh, I'm just like the biggest thing because ever since Yui has shown up, I think she came up like episode two, three, four. I, I had always wondered if her doppelganger ish was going to show up and how they're really going to incorporate that into anime form. I mean, because like the biggest thing is the game is this in a nutshell, except there's a lot of more information, and that's why some people are like, oh, you should play it at the same time, but because 
I've been playing it ever since day one, and I've been on and off either playing the main story or the events, or I'm so busy that I can't always play it. Um, to not know certain things, I'm glad that I don't know everything, but then there are some things that I've kind of theorized on my own, but then I'm like, either I'm right about it or I'm wrong about it, and I just have to wait. But like, I mean, it's a good, it's still a good behind show. I just have so many questions because if she does show up, I'm wondering if she's going to show up either at the end of this first season, if the show gets a second season, I would like for the show to get a second season, but who knows? Um, how is this cult going to end? If it ends, who's going to be the next leader? If Alina is the first leader, it could be maybe the twins or anybody else who's in this group. It could be, um, what's her face's a uh, friend who's in the cult. It could literally be any magical girl, but who knows? I mean, it could, I don't think like if it really truly, if this cult ends, that it will just stay dead and it won't come back. I have a feeling it will come back because, I mean, come on, it's usually like that with some things. You never really know. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Magic Over Quite. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.